Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm here with another Java tutorial to you give a in your coursework. And today we're here with reading multiple records from a text file or CSV file. So, a couple years ago I made a tutorial on how to read a record from a file, and some of you guys wanted a follow up to that, where you can read multiple records from a file because you might be searching for multiple records that match a certain search condition. So, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Thanks to the request guys, keep them coming in this way. So here I've got a file called requests.txt and if I click on it, uh, we've got some records here. So we got uh, the ID, name and age. We want to basically in this tutorial get every record which has the ID of 5464. So that's going to be Frank, Bill Tom and Buck. So let's get right into how we actually code that. By the way, the request file is in my uh, Java project file, so I can just reference it with the file name. Now let's get right into it. So I've got a file path, I've got a search term, I've got a string data, which is going to store our records. Uh, set this to any length, length you want. And then we've got data, which is the string, and we're going to basically read a record, and we're going to pass in search term and file path. So let's actually make the method. So what we want to do is the good old public static string array read record string search term and string file path. So this is a public static method. It's going to return a string array and it's called read record. It takes in search term and file path, which will probably be these two values. So firstly, we want to create an array list. So by doing this, an array list is basically an array, but we could do more things with it, such as change the length dynamically, because we may not know how many records are in this file which match our search term, so we can basically change the array list to be the correct size while we're searching through the file. Really handy, got a tutorial on how to do array lists, there'll be an eye up in the corner if you want to know more. Now we need to set up a couple of variables. So we got boolean found equals false, and then we're going to have four strings. String ID, string name one, string age, and string record. These are going to be the fields, and what we're going to do is, each element of the array list will just be these three in one string. So we're going to have a string called record as a buffer for putting our fields into one string, and then we're going to put that in the array list. This makes the code look neater, and you'll see why later. Now we need to basically, now we need a try and a catch. And in the catch, we're just going to simply do exception E. And we're going to indent our code properly because this is not indented well at all. And in here, we're going to simply do a little error print, saying that something went wrong. We could print out the actual error, but that's only good for debugging. For the actual program, we would want a nice elegant way to basically close the program and to have a little message to inform the user what's going on. Now what we need to do, we need to create a scanner object. So we're going to do scanner x. After that, we're going to create a scanner and a delimiter. So you might be like, wait, why can't we just make the scanner using the normal constructor methods like normal? Well, that's a good question. So basically, I encountered an issue where I would get a legal character UFEFF. -F. I won't go into what that means, but basically, you can work around this error by doing this as opposed to having it all on one line. X.useDelimiter is basically setting the delimiter to a new line or a comma. Uh, a new line or a comma will split, will split each field of a record. We're using X.useDelimiter because it's easier. Now we need to do the code to read the file and add any matching records to the array list. So what's going on here? So we have while x has next. So this while loop will keep looping through the file until there's nothing left to read. id equals x dot next. Then we check if id equals the search term. If it does, then we found a record which matches our search criteria. So we're going to do name1 equals x.next and age equals x.next. So we have the ID, name and age stored in three variables. Now we're going to create a string called record, which is going to be the ID followed by a comma followed by an, a name 
followed by a comma, then followed by the age. We're basically recreating the record in the text file, but in a variable, and then we add it to our array list using records.add. Then we set found to true. The reason why we're doing this is if we don't find anything, we want to print a message saying we didn't find anything. This allows us to do that as it's saying we found at least one record. That's all the boolean does well before in my previous video, which there'll be an eye up in the, in the top of the corner of the screen if you want a more detailed explanation how this file handling works. We use the found to actually terminate the, the search, but in this case we want to keep going to the end of the file because we might find more records which match the search condition. And else we just do x.next and x.next if uh, the ID isn't equal to the search term just to loop through the file and read the, the fields and move on to the next line. Now we want to do if not found. So basically we're going to be checking if we have not found anything in the file which matches our search term. If so, we just say no records found. Lastly, what we need to do, we need to basically return, we need to basically just return the records array. Down here, we do string records array. So we're going to be creating a string array called records array, and it's basically, we're going to set it to the size of the array list, which will be records.size. We're basically going to be creating an array to store all the data from the array list, so we can get it out of this method, so we can interact with it elsewhere in the program. So basically we're just creating an array, then we're going to basically pass all the data from the array list to the array, then we return the string array. This allows us to, to, like I said before, interact with everything that we've just read outside of this method. And that's all we have to do. So lastly we're going to just do system.out.print print ln data 0. And we're going to do this for the other, for two more elements of this array. Just to show that it has been reading data from the file. So, as we discussed before, we want to read Frank, Bilton and Buck. So, let's click play. As you can see, it's read the records for Frank, Bilton and Buck. So, we've been able to read multiple records from a file using the same search term. So guys, thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a request down in the comments if you want me to cover a topic, you also get a little shout out if you also want one. Thanks for being a great audience and I'll see you next time.